Hey, what's going on? So, let's get back to working on she. That is, with an I, not an E. So, I think last time I finished up, when I finished the video, I was working on her bottom. So, let's just finish those up, and then we can move on from there. So, let's just go back to our reference for a second. And on her bottom, she has these little kind of straps things on her thighs here. I'm not sure what those little straps uh, do for the structural integrity of her suit, but they're there, so we're going to add them. So let me just get a picture we can grab those from. And I'm going to take these right here. These should work perfectly good. So I'm going to cut these out. Stretch that to fit. Let's warp that a little bit. And let's desaturate that. And make it a lot darker. Nearly almost black. With just a little bit of gray still in there. Let's call that strap. Yeah, let's put a drop shadow on that. Get a sample from the skin. A little bit darker. And put a mask on that and just mask it off so it's not going in front of the bottoms and I'm just gonna duplicate that and flip that for the other side I'll just turn those arms off for now Now let's change the angle of that drop shadow so it's not kind of sticking off the edge there. So let's go to that drop shadow and just change the angle so now it's going that way. And mask this off here. All right, so we got our straps put in. But I didn't, uh, I didn't make the straps go all the way to the edge here or here because realistically they're going to be kind of pushing in on her skin and pushing in on her uh, butt meat over here. So I'm just going to mask off her body here to give the illusion that the, uh, the straps are kind of um, cinching in on her a little bit. So I'm going to go to our body layer and into our clipping mask. And we're just gonna turn down that hardness and just gonna get a nice smooth kind of curve into the strap. And seam over here. Just gonna curve into the strap. And I might actually want to exaggerate that more over here because uh, her bone is right there, so it's not going to push in all that much. But like that's more of her like her butt, so uh, that's going to be a little softer. So that's going to dig in a little more. So let's go back to that strap and just move it over a little bit more, not too much.
So let's make a shadow layer on multiply and just paint in a little shadows here just to kind of help exaggerate just to help exaggerate the look of the uh, skin being kind of pushed in. All right. Let's turn our arms back on. All right, so next I'm gonna work on her top. So let's go back to the um, our reference. And she has kind of this, she has kind of a weird top. She has like this big floofy shoulders and it's got kind of this square diamond texture all over it. Uh, then it's got these collars here, like a deep neckline, but it's like a midriff top. It, it's, it's a really weird, very 80s, very early 90s kind of top with the big froofy shoulders. So I'm not gonna replicate this exactly. I'm gonna do something uh, that looks similar, uh, but it's a little different. But it's gonna visually be, it's gonna visually be recognizable as her costume, but still gonna be a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do, I have these pictures of this woman in this jacket, and the jacket has, if you look close, it kinda has that same diamond checkerboard pattern sewn into it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this part of her costume like this jacket with the big poofy shoulders and the texture on it, and this top here is just gonna be like a separate top underneath the jacket. So. It's gonna look similar enough to the original costume, but it's gonna be a little different and uh, a little, I don't know if you'd say updated, but it's gonna be a little uh, a little easier on me because finding all the reference to make this jacket exactly the way it's shown in here, it's gonna be a little pain in the butt. So we're just gonna improvise and just do something uh, similar. Similar, but in the same spirit. So I have several images of this jacket. Let's start with this one here. So I'm just gonna clip this out. And I'm actually gonna clip this out separate from the rest of the jacket. I'm gonna clip out the arm then I'm going to clip out this part over here. All right, so let's cut out that first. Then let's cut out this whole side separately. So, now we got her sleeve and the side of her jacket. So, I'm gonna drag these in to our file. And I'm gonna make a new group. Call it jacket. And I'm gonna have to move that up. That's to the top. And the color isn't quite right yet. It's a little too orange and uh, it's not quite dark enough, but I'm gonna worry about that later. First, I'm gonna worry about getting the jacket to the shape I need. And once the jacket is in like the shape and style that I need, then I'll worry about you know, getting the colors uh, where I want them. And the reason that I, uh, I wanted the sleeve separate from this piece is because I need to I need to warp this sleeve so it has a big puffy shoulder like uh, our illustrated reference and I'm gonna need to warp this so it's a little shorter because you see on the character design her top is uh, ends right about there on her midriff so I'm gonna have the jacket end probably right about there 
So let's turn off that. Let's call that sleeve. And let's just start warping it. All right, let's try it again. Let's just start warping it so we have some of that big, big poofy 80s, early 90s shoulder. I don't think I'm gonna go as poofy as maybe she is here, but it's gonna be a little bit poofy. It needs to be somewhat poofy, just so it's recognizable as the uh, as her costume. All right, so now I'm gonna go into liquify, so I can make it even more even more poofy. So let's go to our arms layer. Turn your opacity down a little bit. And up here, I'm just gonna make it nice and poofy. But not too poofy. Let's see how that looks. All right, let's uh, let's keep that level of poofiness for now. We, we might want to up the poof factor later, but for now, we'll just keep it as is. Oop. And for this one here, yeah, let's put that on top. Like I said, I want to make this whole part a little bit shorter. So I'm going to scale it down. Warp it up a little more. That is so poofy. Let's take that poof down a little bit. I'm saying the word poof way too much. And I think I'm going to shorten her jacket a bunch. I think I'm gonna have the jacket end right where the zipper is. It's gonna make a path right about here. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. Let's make it above the zipper. And I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna mask that off. Put that in the back. And I'll use that as the bottom edge. But I think I want to make this a little more narrow right here. And just bring over the sleeve to match that seam line. All right. So let's turn that piece back on. And this will give us, whoa. This will give us the bottom edge, our new bottom edge of the jacket. So let's warp that so it's behind. And we just gotta line that up. Like so. I'm gonna mask, put a mask on that. And get rid of this whole part right here. And I'm gonna go into this mask and just fade the two pieces together. All right, so that looks good for I think that looks good for this side of the jacket, so now let's work on the other side. So we've got to find what reference we can use for the other side.
Let's start off with this one. Oh, that's the same one I got the uh, first part from. Okay. And because the black hair overlaps the jacket so much, uh, I'm just gonna have to incorporate that into our image. Should be pretty easy to blend the hair from the jacket onto her hair. So, let's warp this to give it the uh, proper poofiness amount. Correct poofiness is very important. Uh, she's looking a bit like Michael Jackson. A little bit of Michael Jackson and Thriller. Or is that Beat It? Is that Beat It or Thriller where he wears a red jacket? Or is it both? I don't know. All right, so let's do the same over here and make the length of the jacket shorter. So just gonna make a path. Just throw in a guide for reference so I know where to end it. I'm gonna mask that off. Paste that back in and just bring this up so it'll work as our new edge. And just warp it a little bit to fit in the space we need. Got some nice poofy shoulders. Speaking of, I'm going to liquefy this side a little more. Just so the shoulders are nice and poofy. There should be like a counter in the corner counting how many times I say poofy. I'm sure it's been a lot. Too much. Too much, you could argue. I would argue not enough. And uh, I'll blend all this hair together later, but for now I'm just concerned about the jacket. And I'm noticing this side needs to be brought down a little more. It's too high up. Because her shoulders are a little bit, are a little crooked, so this side should be down a little lower. Alright, so let's uh, grab our second sleeve. And I think this image should suffice. Put these into groups. Pull that right. And you guessed it, left. So let's just warp this sleeve a little bit. I 
get it in the position I want. And like I said before, this jacket isn't at the the red I want it. It's a little too orange and a little too light. So let's start adjusting the colors on the jacket. And I think I'm just going to put some adjustment layers on one section of the jacket. And when I get it to a point where I like it, I'm just going to copy those adjustment layers and uh, apply them to all these other sections of the jacket. All right, that's pretty good. So let's just use that for now. So I'm gonna duplicate that. Apply it to that layer, gonna duplicate it again. Apply it to that layer, duplicate it again. Apply it to that layer, duplicate, create clipping mask. Duplicate, create clipping mask. All right. I'm gonna add in some more hair uh, behind her and that way we can start to kind of blend in the hair on her head and then the hair on her jacket so it's one big cohesive unit of hair. So I'm dragging my hair pick. And this woman has a lot of hair. I'm just going to roughly select that. I copy that. And just gonna bring it in the back. That's roughly where we want it. And this will work good because this hair uh, matches pretty good to the hair on our head. See the hair on her head, it kind of goes out here, and then this hair kind of goes out here, and it, then it kind of has a piece that comes out here, and in the back has another piece that kind of comes out there. So they should blend together very, um, very, very nicely, and hopefully very easily. Let's go back into our uh, jacket. And I'm just going to fade out the hair on our jacket. Just fade the edges so it blends, blends nicely into our background here. Okay. Now let's go to our head layer. And let's feather the edges on that hair. And uh, this hair does line up pretty good with our head hair, but I'm just going to liquefy it a little bit and make it line up even better. So let's go to our head layer. Put that in front. Turn the opacity down a bit. And just warp it so the contours of the back hair match up nicely to the contours of the front hair. Yeah, perfect. So everything lines up nicely as far as the hair. 
And, uh, and no, I'm not gonna worry about clipping that hair out just yet. I'm just gonna leave it for now. All right, so I'm just gonna go back into our jacket for one more thing. And you'll see on our reference here, uh, like the inside of the collar of her shirt has this kind of a rib texture. So you got there, got there. So I'm just gonna add that rib texture on the inside of these, um, I guess they're lapels. So I'm gonna add that rib texture right there and right there. So I got these images for that ribbing texture. Uh, I think this is probably my best bet. Let's paste that in. Turn that opacity down. I'm just gonna roughly distort it. To how I want it. Alright, so that's pretty close to how I want it, but let's just go into liquify and get it even better. And just warp this part so it matches up with the zipper. Okay, and let's put a mask on that. Just get rid of this whole top part because we don't need that. And we want to mask off the seam from this side. I'm gonna make a new layer. Put that on maybe soft light. And just add a little bit of contour for that lapel. Add a little bit of darks, maybe a little bit of highlights. All right, not bad, not bad at all. Although some of this ribbing is a little, it's still a little janky, it's still a little wonky. It's not perfectly lined up. So I might need to go back into liquify and fix some of that up a little bit later. But for now, let's move on to the second lapel. And we're just gonna do the same process for this one that we did for the other one. Just gonna do a bunch of distorting and warping and liquefying until we get it to where we want it. So 
let's start masking things off. All right, let's do the same over here. Make a new layer, put on soft light. And just paint it with some blacks and some whites to give it a little more contour. Maybe make another layer, put it on like a uh, darken. Just pump up the shadows. The darks a little more. Make a new group for that and just call it ribbed texture. And on our reference, it's kind of a little bit more of a golden yellow color, so let's just adjust those a little bit color wise. Let's copy that layer style. Oh. So I'm gonna copy that layer style and put it on this one too. And I'm just gonna go back into this uh, with Liquify and just fix some of this. This is actually pretty good, but some of it's a little bit wonky in here and here too, so. Just gonna try to even some of this out. So, just wanna fix some of this, so. It's a little more even. All right, so we got our jacket laid in, we got our hair pretty much done and all blended together. And I'm gonna call it a night. Thank you for watching and take care.